Yo everybody, Simple Scumbag here, and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we got a new series for you, but first, just want to talk about the channel a little bit. Uh, content con uh, consistency hasn't been that great. You know, I have one video one week, four next, couple here, couple there. Um, so I'm going to be putting a little schedule together on kind of like release days for content. Try to get like maybe four, to four videos out a week or something like that. Uh, release the stream schedule out coming out pretty soon so that way uh, anybody that wants to catch my content you'll be able to catch it um, I'll be getting some comp clips together it's been a little slow because I've been tr trying to work on this YouTube stuff and learn how to edit the videos the best way I can with what I got right now so uh, we're getting all that together so getting some badass gameplay together with some Ash stuff, some Doom, Fist, some Tracer you know we're going to get all the badass shit going so uh be looking forward to that gameplay. So this new series is um, it's going to be a coaching series, and I'm going to be calling it CatCon because uh, we're we have a team in uh, the Bronze Tacos um, community league, and uh, it's a Discord community. So we have a, a team there. It's named Catastrophe. So we're gonna um, we're running uh, we're gonna be running team practices, all that good shit, you know, scrims. But I'm gonna be uh, reviewing gameplay of certain people here and there and uh analyzing it and trying to make the team a little better and see if we can get more strategies and uh you know try to tighten up the weaknesses so this is basically going to be a team coaching series i'll have another coaching series with some other stuff because you know i'm gold so i feel like i'm qualified to uh coach everybody <laughs> but other than that i'm the co-captain of the team so i want to try to get this stuff together so we're going to get right into it uh today we have a baptiste player um and we're on a comp map, New Bonnie. And so, basically testing the series out and stuff. So we're going to just review his gameplay because he needs a little bit of help. And uh, the guy has a lot of potential. So we're going to try to get his gameplay improved here today. Okay, the position is not too bad. So, personally, you're pretty safe, like, over here, and you could lob across, and you're not going to be, like, in direct fi fire of anything, the shield breaks, you know, if there's a lot of crazy stuff going on, you're really safe over in that area. Sometimes a Winston will go up there, you might get a flanker DPS, it's a little crazy, but you can always disengage, get away, you got a lot of mobility, but uh, this position is not too bad. But the pre-firing. What's with the pre-firing? Attackers in fully healed. Defend objective. Okay. Okay, the enemy's coming. You got four bullets. You got four ammo. Look at you have to reload. What's going on? These people are no no need for heal. That's a good lamp. It's a good lamp. Clean up the kill. Good stuff. Now, see, I put a... I put in this corner here, on every kill, I put the enemy's point of view. So that way you can kind of see what's going on from the enemy's point of view why you were in that position, all that good stuff. So I don't know what happened here where you fell off, but maybe it was just uh, unlucky you backed up too far. So dead, dead. C'est un comme bon monde qui a payé sur moi. Defend the objective. Okay. Uh, 
on this part of the map. Okay, this is the aerial view of what was going on, okay? We're technically kind of losing the point, but it's not that big of a deal yet, okay? You have your Arissa up here, and you're coming up this way. You went straight to the point, and ended up being dog food for the big brain. So, um, let's play this a little bit. Okay, see where you're at right here? You have perfect position. Everybody, you are safe, you're perfectly safe right here, okay? If you would have just lobbed heels at V right over there, got him up to full, he would have came around and either dropped down to engage or been able to engage heavily right here. And you could have easily have jumped to the high ground up here and been able to heal from up here until everybody got back. So, um being in this position down here, you got environmental cover. This is the best cover in the game. It's better than any barrier. This guy cannot do anything to you with that cover. He doesn't even know you're there yet. So, and I mean, you don't even, you don't get seen for, for the enemies until they're like right around here anyway. So by then you should be up on top of the high ground. So that was a run to the point. You're a little too concentrated on the objective. It's more about winning the team fight and staying alive. See, if you would have stayed alive, the Wrecking Ball would have came in. And you would have been able to dish heals on both of them. Potentially been able to save the point. Okay, a little poke damage. Disengage. You're by yourself. Let's see, here comes me on Mr. McCree. Okay, so from the aerial view, you kind of got a bad spawn because you're coming out this way. You could have um, could have went around the back and went with your team. Would have been the safe bet because the point was lost. But you were over here and you started poking some damage in. Great, you get a little bit of ult charge. But you chose to run straight into the line of fire. This big red, big red mean enemy team is coming down this way. And they want to whoop your ass. The last thing you want to do is run straight in their line of fire. You could have uh, went around the statue here, right around the bus, and even did a little bit more poke here while you waited for your Arissa and disengaged. That's a that's just a pathing mistake. You got you remember the number one objective is to stay alive. Mm, I messed up. I'm going to leave that in. Here we go. Okay, pre-firing. Don't need it. You're wasting your ammo. You're walking into the engagement with three bullets. Now you had to throw your lamp for no reason because you didn't have enough ammo. Good disengage, but you're leaving your Ritza. You could have stayed around the corner a little bit. I mean... The Moira probably got you killed, so pretty good disengage. I'd say the team fight was lost. Good, good, good disengage. Only some of those heals are effective. I'm gonna steal a page out of Stylos's book, Unit Loss, and go. Are you getting value? When you're just throwing random shots, when you're throwing random shots into the ground, you're not getting any value. I, I, I don't know if someone told you like more actions per minute makes you more effective, 
but it's not. It's like um, effective actions per minute. So if you're not getting value out of your abilities, you're not getting value out of all your bullets, then you're just wasting them. So you want to make sure you're getting value at all times with anything you're doing. All this, no value. When you're coming around the corner, you came around the corner and you just started going straight back. There's always a good chance that up on the high ground, there's going to be someone there or someone to coming down this way. You had your Arissa coming up this way. You could have just pathed around this way and just kicked it right here. Because if you would have just kicked it right here, you would have been under him. You would have been able to hear somebody coming down the stairs and you could have, or ladder. And you could have seen Arissa coming and waited for Arissa to come over here. I mean, you might have died to a Creole anyway, but at least you, oh, you had a lamp. So if you would have just waited there, you could have popped your lamp and saved everybody. Look at this right here. Okay, this is just a little bit of game sense stuff right here. I don't know if you pull your tab. I can't see this in the replay viewer, obviously, but I don't know if you pull up your tab screen. But uh, let's see. Right here, three people are dead. One person that's alive is a Moira, probably behind you. The other one is Critical Health Wrecking Ball. He's gonna dip or die, and you're gonna be left alone. From this point, you have to know it is a lost fight. You do not go up there. You wait here for your tank to come back out and engage with your tank, because, oop, because, where were we at? Five or six months ago? Because you're probably gonna die. Man, we're getting fucking rolled in this one. So you're gonna die here. Allow me to repair the See? The big mean red team. They're coming after you. One for the homies. That sexy, simple scumbag popping off with the hard carry. Damn, his back must have hurt the next day. Dancing. Just dancing. Wasting ammo. We already went over this, so we're not going to worry about it again. But do not waste your ammo in such a manner. Nobody's taking damage yet, really. Okay, Karnak, finally. Good position. I like it. Right here's another good spot. So that way, if you start taking damage, you can always just disengage up this way and get out of sight. You can also deal, deal out a little bit of damage from that position. Keeps you a little protected from the high ground too. This right here, you're kind of not that protected. A good flanker is going to kill you. See right now, your junk rat is injured. Your Baptiste, you could have ran over here, boosted up, shot a couple yellow balls in there, and dropped back down. 
let your junk rat win that duel. Good lamp. saved you and you let him die you could have not shot bullets into Arissa and shot the yellow balls into Arissa and healed the Arissa <laughs> you direct hit those balls and they explode on the heel on the character heel so, as you were doing that tracking, you could have healed the Arissa. I'd back up, get around like the right corner. Pushing up right there is not a great idea. Well, look at that. That simple scumbag just carrying everybody. God, what a nice guy. <laughs> what a nice guy. I don't like this position. This position right here. There's a big open hole right here. Look at that. You're not covered by the rest of the shield at all. You dropped your ant matrix and there's nobody in sight. You're shooting into the space and flankers can come out here and start dipping into you. Boom, 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 boom. And then some smart jerks will come down here and you don't see them. And then boom, 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 boom. Look at there's a junk rat out there. You can see him poke. He said, Hey, how are you doing today? I'm here to make your life a living hell. That was a waste of a lamp. That could be used in a much better situation. Uh oh, here comes that mean McCree. Bad positioning. Bad positioning. Just think about when you're in an engagement. You want to have as much, with Baptiste, you want as much view of the battlefield as possible. So you can see what's up with all your teammates. Okay? And then, when you see what's up with all your teammates, you stay in a position that's safest. That they have to shoot through a lot of bodies, or they have to shoot through walls, which is not going to happen to hit you. That's how you stay the safest. You stay alive, you you get more value. Now, right here, if you land in those trees and start dumping some heels right now, you just start throwing them over. Boom, boom, boom. Be a clutch play. That you drop down right into the line of fire. Unnecessary lamp. You shouldn't have been there with the wrecking ball. You focused way too hard on the junk rat. And you got punished for it. You're a support. You're not a damage dealer. Remember that. Your number one focus is supporting. And you got to be in the back line. Running up in the front line like that. That's just going to get you killed. You're going to get no value. Now you're still focused on killing this junk rat. Now you blow all your cooldowns. Now you get dived. If you would have went right here and just pocketed the ash, the ash would have killed everybody because the ash killed everybody a few times. <laughs> At least the ash would have kept you protected until the main tank got there. 
and you would use all this environmental cover right there to stay alive. There's no point for you to run straight across. So you just see, it's like the shooting duck gallery at the carnival. Okay, yeah, you took a little damage. Go get heals. Cool. Beautiful sleep dart. You should throw your nade on him. If you'd have thrown that nade like two seconds earlier, you probably would have saved the junk rat and you would have helped get the confirm the kill on the on the McCree. Now's a bad uh, see that was a good time to run away. How much you could do there? That's a little aggressive. Nice play. But, uh, yeah, that was a little aggressive. <laughs> now, this is a team mistake because of your healer setup. It would probably be a little better for you guys to go around the left bottom and under the bridge so that way you get bigger sight lines and that you're not like trapped in there with a bunch of junk rats, fam. See it too aggressive. There we go. Nice purple. But you could have saved your purple. Okay. Mm. What's this at? Ten minutes. seconds later Kree gets down here these people collapse here if you would have stayed up here on the high ground and had sight lines and position and out of the way of the enemy where you should be as Anna as a sniper not in the brawl Moira she goes in the brawl you stay far away you stay on the high ground you would have dropped the fat ante right there team kill play two carry heroes okay and all it is is making plays sit back slow down you don't have to make so many actions per minute if you're behind a barrier nobody's taking damage throw a couple bullets out as soon as people take a little bit of damage throw your heels start throwing your heels start concentrating save your lamp for big plays make big plays anna same thing do you throw the big the heel the the nade if you need big heels to save or to drop a big fat ante and win the game or win the team fight. That's all you gotta do. Just slow it down. Think about the situation. Dropping down there should put you in a lot of trouble now. Stay in that room. You could have went back up the stairs a little bit and had a better position. Beautiful sleep dart. And your sleep darts are on point, man. I won't lie. You got a good sleep dart. You just need more, it seems like you might need more time on Anna to, like, understand where to position. Because you're, I mean, putting yourself in Moira territory, Lucio territory. This is, you need to be, like, way back, high ground, long sight lines, away from the battle. You do not belong in the battle, you're too squishy for it. You don't have the survivability. Rendezvous 
Stay on the high ground. Drop your nade. Ah, bad nade. And you stay on the high ground. You got eaten up because you dropped in the battle. So, uh, basically, um, you do the same thing yourself, man. You pull up close losses, blowouts, whatever it is. Pull out your gameplay, analyze it. Go look at the at the other team's perspective. You know, see what you see where you're positioning. See what you did wrong. See what you can do to improve. What you could do to uh, what you could have done to help improve and win win that team fight. What you could have been to make a playmaker you know what i mean so just uh concentrate on uh you know not wasting your ammo so you're going into a team fight with three bullets and have to waste your lamp early and uh just you know put yourself a little further back a little more away from the team fight and you're gonna you're gonna jump massively in sr it's you, you, everything else you're doing is pretty good your, your mechanics are fine everything's good uh i hope you guys like the series today so uh if you like it, drop a like, subscribe, tell a friend, you know, all that good stuff. I'm out.